taking a few minutes to discuss with you the camlock system. The camlock system is a two-part system, the barrel adapter and the piston. And what this does is it allows rapid secure attachment of a pistol silencer to your host firearm. This product was made specifically for tilt barrel firearms only, uh, which are Glocks, uh, SIGs, HKs, 1911s, uh, Smith & Wesson, stuff like that. Um, it is not made for fixed barrel firearms, so it's made for tilt barrel pistols. Uh, basically, when you have this product installed, is it allows three mounting positions, rapid and secure mounting positions, none of which have point of impact shift issues. Uh, there was great uh, effort taken in the engineering as well as in the production process to ensure that uh, the point of impact shift from position to position is imperceptible to the end user. We tested that fully and that was an early question that we had uh, with the product launch, so I wanted to touch on that. Um, one other thing that I want to get out there right away is that this is, should not be used with fixed barrel spacers. Um, this system is intended to be used with sprung piston pistol silencers only and tilt barrel pistols only. So. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to install this in a silencer. So we make the product obviously to fit our own silencers, but we also make this product to fit other silencers as well, um, such as this AAC uh, Tyrant 45 or this, this rugged Obsidian silencer in front of me. So to change this piston out, you're just gonna take off the piston retainer and pull the three-piece piston assembly out of the silencer, uh, which is the retainer, the piston, and the spring. We're gonna get rid of the old piston introduce the Griffin Camlock piston for the appropriate silencer, which in this case is a rugged silencer. And we're gonna put that system back in, tighten it down, and now you've converted your silencer to be a QD pistol silencer. Now another really cool feature about this product, yes, it's very rapid to attach, but it's also secure. And what that means is that the adapters have a taper on the front of the adapter that you can see here, and the piston also has a taper interface inside the piston. So those taper interfaces mesh together upon installation to provide a secure mounting system. Uh, why that's important is in decades past, fixed pistons required constant tightening from the end user. So, as they were using the silencer and shooting it, the vibration of the, and the, of the piston stroke and the slide and all of that together uh, would cause the pistons to break loose uh, off their 90 degree shoulders. And so experienced silencer users would end up you know, shooting five or six, seven, eight rounds and then quick check tightening it and then punching back out and continuing to shoot. You don't have to do that anymore uh, with the cam lock system because of the taper fitment. Um, so that, that locks the suppressor on so that you can shoot as much as you want, you know, magazine to magazine without having to worry about your suppressor, you know, breaking loose and possibly getting baffle strikes or end cap strikes. So that is a extremely cool feature of the product. Uh, another cool uh, feature of the product, which I find extremely interesting is that, you know, if you have this product applied to a 45 silencer like this Griffin Bushwhacker here, uh, you can attach it to a 45 pistol like this SIG 220, shoot that and then also switch it over very rapidly to a 9mm platform uh, without having to screw with tools and you know take that tedious time at the range to you know convert back and forth and get your hands dirty and all that kind of stuff. So that is a really cool feature as well. You now you're probably thinking well, I better not shoot my nine millimeter silencer on a 45, yes. Um, you wanna make sure that, you know, if you have a nine millimeter silencer, like uh, this rugged obsidian, that you don't, you know, 
inadvertently, you know, take it off your 9mm and put it on your 45. So be cognizant of what calibers you're shooting, stuff like that. Just like you'd be cognizant of, you know, using the 9mm end cap versus the 22 end cap uh, per se, like on this Optimus here. So those are things to keep in mind. Now for installation of the silencer, um, or with the silencer, you're gonna wanna make sure that the silencer is very tight. All the components are tight together because you don't want the silencer you know, inadvertently coming apart when you're attaching it and detaching it from that taper lock. Um, that the taper lock does, you know, once it locks up snugly, you know, it does require some force to pull it apart. And if you're, you know, if your threaded joints in your silencer aren't tight, then you'll just end up disassembling your silencer. So I've got a couple pointers for you on that. Um, there's, a, there's a few different ways you can approach that when you're putting your silencer together after user maintenance or when you're initially configuring it. Um, with Griffin silencers, um, Austin's really good about this. Uh, if, if there's a tool that's required, he usually engineers and provides it with the suppressor. But you want, you want to make sure that you use those tools, you know, refund that geometry, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, and you can overcome that issue just, just with the tool. But if you want some added security, uh, you can use ST3, which we saw on our website. This is a elastopolymer uh, gasket uh, style, like paste, essentially, uh, that you apply to the thread joint. You allow it to cure. Um, there's more information on our website. You can look that up. Um, and then once it's cured, uh, basically it's a, it's a rubber gasket style material that gives you, you know, that really nice gliding motion with the threads, but it also holds the torque a little bit better. Um, another thing that a lot of people use is just standard, you know, pipe tape from the uh, department store or the hardware store. So that that's another way that you can hold your silencer together. Um, so once your silencer is together, you're going to want to configure your handguns. Uh, and we've en engineered a little three-quarter inch socket uh, geometry on the adapters so that it's very easy to install. Um, if you don't have soft jaws and stuff like that at home, don't worry. Um, what I do is take a nice thick leather glove, uh, wrap that around the frame of the pistol for installing it. Obviously make sure you clear it in accordance with the user manual, uh, yada yada. But once the pistol is clear uh, and you're ready to work on it, you know, you can wrap it with a leather glove essentially like that, or you can use, you know, more expensive plastic, you know, non-marring vice blocks or whatever you want to do. Uh, just make sure uh, whatever method that you're using that when you uh, start tightening the pistol into a vise and getting it ready for installation that you're not uh, hitting any of the control surfaces, the slide release or anything like that, you know, that you would, could potentially damage. So once it's in, once the pistol is, you know, fir somewhat firmly mounted uh, and with a metal frame pistol like this 220 Combat, I don't have to worry about it that much, you know, but if you're pinching a polymer frame like a Glock, you know, you might want to pinch the slide uh, in, you know, in exchange for the for the polymer frame, you might want to stay off the polymer frame. Personally, I would. I'd probably pinch the, the the slide on that on the polymer frame versus, you know, the metal frame like on this one. But three quarter inch socket wrench or socket driver, and then you're just looking for 20 foot pounds, and you're good. You don't need to apply any thread lock or anything like that. Actually, that would be uh, working to your disadvantage because at a later date, you know, maybe six months or a year from now or however frequently you do a full detail strip on your pistol, you're gonna to wanna to take this off. And it's very easy to take off, you know, if you don't use thread lockers and things like that. So I would recommend not using thread locker, just use the appropriate amount of torque, which is 20 foot pounds. One other cool part with the cam lock interface is that if you're not using the silencer and let's say, um, you're carrying the handgun like a CCW piece, um, like you might with a handgun like this, like a Glock 45 or something like that. Um, the Camelock adapters do clear the majority of, you know, open-ended holsters out there because they don't violate the width of the slide thickness. Um, so you can carry the firearm with this installed and we've actually engineered a product uh, family for that for you guys, Camelock carry compensators. And these go on the same way as the pistons, obviously, where they three lug into place and you're gonna to wanna to tighten that. There's a little bit of wrench geometry on the end, so you can tighten that uh, into position for CCW if you're using 
the same pistol for CCW that you'd be using for, you know, novelty shooting on the range or, or whatever with your silencer. So uh, this product is available in 9mm as well as a uh, 45 aperture. So that product is also available uh, in the Camelock series. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate your business. Definitely check out uh, our YouTube, our Instagram. Uh, please subscribe to our newsletter. We put out a lot of cool information like this that can benefit you as a Griffin customer. Uh, but again, we appreciate your business and that is an overview of the Camlock product line.